Speaking of the sequester, I got some blowback recently from uh, uh, something last week when I talked about how President Barack Obama shares some of the blame for the sequester being that he signed the sequester into law. I got a couple emails, I got some tweets, I got some comments saying, oh no, oh no, Matt, oh no, 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 Matt, you don't understand. You don't understand this, Matt. No, no, the sequester, the sequester is 100, 100% the Republicans' fault. It is all the Republicans' fault. It is not Barack Obama's fault. You don't understand. Barack Obama, he only signed the sequester so he could use the sequester to make a grand bargain, a grand bargain which, by the way, like the sequester, is also a horrible idea. But I want to address this idea, this whole, this whole argument here for a minute, okay? Okay, so if that is true, if that is true that Barack Obama only signed the sequester to force a grand bargain, if that's true, and, and, and I, you know, probably that's true, I guess, but if that is true, then I'm sorry, folks. I don't think that actually takes him off the hook for it. I don't think that takes him off the hook for it at all. Let me explain. Okay, so the sequester. The sequester, ladies and gentlemen, was signed well into Barack Obama's presidency. After three or so years of dealing with and, quote, negotiating with Republicans. He's been dealing with Republicans for a long, long time here, folks. Are you trying to tell me? Are you trying to tell me that President Barack Obama was really was seriously counting on good faith negotiations with the Republicans? Really? Really? Is that what you're trying to say to me? Is that is that what you're trying to say? Well, if you believe that, if you believe that, then in this instance, ladies and gentlemen, President Barack Obama is an idiot. He's an idiot if he believed that. And, you know, maybe he did think that. Maybe he did. Maybe he thought that, hey, I can trust Republicans. All these all these times they tried to stop me before, everything, you know, that was blocked before by Republicans, they were just kidding. No, 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 we're cool now. Me and Republicans are fine. We're buddies. We can work together. Everything's great now. Maybe he did think that. <laughs> but if that is your opinion, that, 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 that he was tricked or somehow didn't know, what, what does that say about Barack Obama? What does that say about him that he can still possess that delusional idea after dealing with Republicans for almost his entire first term? It's one of two things. It is one of two things. One, either the president had to know that there was a possibility... A possibility, ladies and gentlemen, of a deal not getting worked out. He had to know that. He had to know that. And as such, the fact that he still put his signature on the bill, he signed the sequester into law, makes it his responsibility too. I'm sorry, it does. Or, like I just said, number two, if he thought there was no way the sequester was going to go through, that Republicans are going to work with us and we'll deal with the, we'll deal with the budget for sure, it'll be a balanced approach and bipartisan and blah, 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 then it's what I said before, Barack Obama is an idiot. And I don't think he's an idiot. I don't think Barack Obama is an idiot. He had to have known. He had to have known that there was a possibility that the sequester was going to go through. He had to. No friggin' way he didn't. You know, if you want to argue, if you want to argue that he's an idiot, okay, fine, go ahead and make that argument, but I'm not buying it. I am not buying it. Okay, do, do I think, do I think that Barack Obama wanted the sequester to go through? Do I think he wants it to go through? No, I don't think he wants to go through, but that still doesn't, that still doesn't, you know, alleviate him of the responsibility. If he didn't entertain that thought, then, then, <laughs> then that's far more damning than if he did. This is not merely a Republican sequester. It is a bipartisan sequester that was passed by both parties and signed by Democratic President Barack Obama. And it just infuriates me. It infuriates me to see progressives let Barack Obama off the hook for this. The deal is this, folks. The sequester should have never been passed in the first place. Period. The only real solution is to repeal the sequester, period. Repeal it, the whole damn thing, period. 